Hello there. In this video, I would like to show how you can use Google Meet to present materials on a website and also materials from PowerPoint in case you want to use it for your students and for your colleagues uh, and you want to present it over using Google Meet. Here, I'm going to head to my Gmail account. Click on Gmail and Google Meet is right here and you can then start a meeting or join a meeting if you have a code to join a meeting and if you want to start a meeting click on start a meeting and here is blur on my camera because uh, I put a sticker on my camera uh, you can do it without you can just click on this to turn off camera but your microphone is on at the moment yeah and it says meeting is ready, so you can just join now straight away if you want to have face-to-face -face, uh, online conversation. Or if you have something you present, you can just click on present. So, and if you want your colleague, your students to join, you just go to here and then click copy this and then pass it over to them. Okay, uh, you can pass it over via Google Classroom or you can email to them. And here, I'm going to first uh, join now. Click on that. So the first thing they will prompt you in Google Meet is to copy joining uh, information. So you will actually copy this particular code. So copy joining information to join your meeting. The interface for Google Meet is quite simple. They are here on the left-hand side. Bottom is the meeting details. And you can copy again the joining information. Here is where you attach the Google Calendar attachments. So you actually show here. I don't have any at the moment. And in the middle is where the most important information uh, is where you can, uh, you know, control your microphone, turn it on or off. So at the moment it's on. And here you can leave the call, leave the meeting. At the moment the camera is off as well. And then on the side here, you have to turn on captions, especially good if you have foreign students, uh, if you are talking also in, in, at international level. And then here, this is what I want to show you. This is present now. If you click on present now, you have three options. You can present the entire screen and then you can present from a window or you can present from a Chrome tab. Let me show you how you can present from a Chrome tab first. This is a uh, two are more selective. You click on this. So here you can present from, this is a Chrome browser. Using a Chrome browser, I can choose the tab that is open already. So here there, what was open is my website. And then you have the uh, Google Meet, you have the Meet as well, and I have the inbox. So then I'll just go to, I'll just click on my website first to show you. If you don't want to share the audio, you can untick this as well and share. Okay, so at the moment, Google informs you that you're sharing this tab. So this is my, I'm going to show you, this is my website, for example. And if you want to change to another tab, so you can open this. And what happens is that on the new tab, what is uh, you sharing is that you can stop sharing this well, uh, website and you can just click on share this tab instead. So everyone will see this interface the Google search interface, not the website earlier. So this is how you can switch between a few websites at the same time if you have um, a few websites to, uh, to, to show. What would be best is to open the websites that you want to share before starting Google Meet. That would be much easier. Uh, it will also minimize confusion as well. Okay, and then if I want to switch off and start talking to participants, start talking to my students, I can just click stop to go back to Google Meet. Let me then show you if you want to present from a window, an app. Okay, click on present now and click on a window. That means an app. 
So give you, uh, this is Chrome browser. And I want to show how you can present from a PowerPoint. So if you have others, you have Excel, you have um, Google Slides, or you have um, other apps opening up, the rest will show in this interface. You can just click on this one and click share. Now you are in the presenter uh, mode. You can, so everyone will see this. What you need to do next is to just simply click on the display and the rest will be shown on the screen okay and uh, you can do as normal as you would do in a normal pre uh, powerpoint presentation you can use a cursor to just show the next slide and click on the next slide and so on as you talk about it okay and your 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 participants your students will see it uh, as well And then you just click escape if you want to get out of the uh, PowerPoint mode. If you don't want this particular menu to, to be seen, you can click hide. Yeah? But the screen sharing is still on. When you want to stop sharing, click on stop sharing. Okay, now I'd like to share a tip with you that would be very useful if you have multiple participants. You have a lot of students that you want to share, you want to show on the screen. So this is one feature that Google Meet doesn't have and you have to add on the extension. So what you do is you need to go to, I'm going to go to a Chrome tab. I already opened the tab. So now I want to show you this one. Google Meet Grid View at the Chrome Web Store. I click on this one and I share. So you need to add this extension, this Google Meet Grid View into Chrome. And from there on, what you can do, you can have these multiple screens appearing on your screen. And this is particularly useful. You have a lot of students, a lot of participants, and you can see all of them at one time. Okay, that's all really. I hope you would find this tutorial useful to embark on this online education during this pandemic and even beyond. Thanks so much for watching. Please share this video and click subscribe.